Hello everyone. Meet again with Movie Adult Recapped. In this video, we will discuss the storyline of the film entitled Exciting Pension. This film is a romantic drama genre and of course contains sex scenes. If you watch the original version of this movie. So, this film tells the story of a villa guard who is sex with a prostitute hired by his boss. The villa keeper was very lucky. I also want to be a villa keeper too. You must have been wondering, right? We immediately started the storyline of this film. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. The film begins with a man who works as a guard in a villa. The man turned out to be Tarju. And it looks like he's taking out the trash. But he seemed to be talking to himself. Maybe. He was annoyed with his boss. Because he had to clean up his boss's trash which was full of used condom waste. Well one time. He gets a call from his boss and asks to prepare his private room. And finally the film begins. The next day. There is a car heading to the villa. And it turns out that what came out of the car was a man and too beautiful. And that woman is very sexy. The man is Tarju's boss named Ju Pri. And two women named Harumi and Aiko. When, they had entered the villa. It seems that Harumi and Aiko are always teasing Ju Pri to have sex with one of them. Finally, because Ju Pri is a normal human being, not a homo. He immediately took one of the women into the room to have sex with him. After Jupri finished having sex with Harumi. Actually, Harumi is still not satisfied when having sex with Jupri. But, because Jupri is very tired. Finally, Harumi was disappointed with Jupri. Because Jupri actually doesn't last long when making love. Finally, Harumi then told Aiko. And say, if later you will have sex with Tarjo, so don't get your hopes up. Because. He can't give you satisfaction in sex. At night. It looks like Jupri just woke up from his sleep. Then he asked the sexy woman to drink alcohol with him. But Harumi and Aiko replied. It would be more fun. If Tarjo was invited to the party so it would be more crowded. Then. Jupri also agreed to their idea. Then, Harumi immediately looks for Tarjo to invite him to the party. It turned out that Tarjo was making instant noodles. Then, Harumi invited Tarjo to join the party with him. But the Harumi was trying to tempt Tarjo to make love to him. Because, maybe this Harumi is still not satisfied with making love to Jupri. It turns out that Harumi efforts succeeded in making Tarjo aroused. As you can see this time. Tarjo's eyes are no longer looking at Harumi face, but Tarjo's eyes were focused on Harumi two very large breasts. Then. They started an alcoholic binge as previously planned. The four people also chatted incoherently because they were drunk, until late at night. And then. Jupri suddenly invites Aiko to have sex with him. Because. Previously Jupri had sex with Harumi. Then. Jupri advised Tarjo to keep Harumi from going out alone because it was late at night. Jupri and Aiko finally rushed to the room to having sex. Meanwhile. Tarjo then invited Harumi to go to the backyard, to enjoy the cold night breeze. Again and again. Harumi is teasing Tarjo again. He was looking for various ways to have sex with Tarjo that night. Then. Suddenly Harumi said to Tarjo that he felt cold. Then. Tarjo invites Harumi into the house. Actually Tarjo was a little worried about Harumi. Tarjo also made a warm drink for Harumi so she wouldn't get cold. But. Harumi accidentally spilled his drink on Tarjo's pants. Then. Harumi said he would suck the water in Tarjo's pants to dry. Actually. Harumi is trying to tempt Tarjo to have sex with him. However. Tarjo refused Harami's request and immediately went to the bathroom to change his pants. But. Suddenly Harami caught up with Tarjo and entered the bathroom without knocking on the door. Finally. They had sex in the bathroom. A few moments later. 
Aiko came down from the second floor and it seemed she had finished having sex with Jupri. And also Harumi has finished having sex with Tarjo. Then Harumi told Aiko. If Tarjo's penis is bigger than Jupri's. But. Aiko couldn't believe what Harumi was talking about. Then to prove it, Harumi has an idea. Well the next day. Harumi invites Jupri to accompany shopping at the mini market. Actually. Aiko was just pretending so she could have sex with Tarjo. And finally the plan worked. Aiko then went to meet Tarjo who was sleeping on the table. Then. Aiko woke up Tarjo who was sleeping and asked Tarjo. Is it true that your dick is as big as Harami talks about? Heard such a strange question. Tarjo chose to remain silent and did not answer. Because according to Tarjo. It was inappropriate for him to answer such a perverted question. In the end, Aiko felt embarrassed and disappointed. Even Aiko cried and left Tarjo. Tarjo was worried to see Aiko crying in front of him. Finally, Tarjo immediately chased after Aiko and tried to explain why she refused his request. But, Aiko suddenly kissed Jupri's lips. And finally their tongues met each other at that very moment. Even, Jupri who couldn't stand Aiko's temptation anymore. Finally, they also have sex very passionately. Meanwhile, when Jufri is on his way with Harumi, Jupri suddenly remembered something that was left in his villa. Harumi was worried and panicked hearing this. He also had time to seduce Jupri to just continue the journey. But, because Jupri really wanted to take the things that were left behind. Finally, Jupri turned the car around and headed straight for his villa again. When on the way, Harumi is afraid that Tarjo and Aiko's actions will be caught by their boss. When Jupri entered his villa, he finally saw what Aiko did with Tarjo who was having sex. Jupri was very angry and disappointed with their actions. Finally, Jupri decided to leave the villa. But, the two women did not feel sad left by Jupri. They actually feel happy. Because, Harami and Aiko can finally have sex with Tarjo who has a bigger and muscular penis. A few days later. The end of this film. It turns out that Tarjo is still having sex with Harumi and Aiko behind his boss. And finally the film is over. Thank you to all of you who have watched this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And like this video if you like this video.